Welcome back. We have a fun one for you today. I recently read that the only true love is unrequited love. And that makes me want to die. However, we have lots of many great distractions from the often painful experience that is human life. Things like food and cardio, great friends, alcohol, and of course music. So in this video today, we will be crowning a winner for the most devastating love song of every decade from the 1980s to the 2020s. I'll be giving my runner-ups too so you can create your own playlist. Take a night and light a candle for all the pain that only time can heal. Let's get to it with a few caveats. These are songs that have affected me personally, so I know there are some famous sad songs that are on other lists. They're just not on this list. Uh, these songs are about love, so uh, codependency, toxicity, longing, unrequited love, uh, not about things like uh, addiction or um, loneliness or uh, war politics. And there are songs that are not on this list because the lead singer has been canceled. Yeah, looking at you, Jesse Lacey. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. The 1980s, Gypsy by Fleetwood Mac. In Too Deep by Genesis, It Must Have Been Love by Roxette, Hands to Heaven by Breathe, My Heart Can't Tell You No by Rod Stewart, Love Will Lead You Back by Taylor Dane, and our winner, the goat of sad 80s and 90s love songs, Phil Collins with Take a Look at Me Now Against All Odds. The 1990s, formative years for yours truly, singing along in the backseat of my parents' Buick. Two, Nothing Compares to You by Sinead O'Connor, Black by Pearl Jam, No Ordinary Love by Sade, Why by Annie Lennox, had to include some Annie Lennox or Eurythmics in here, I went with Why, Missing by Everything But the Girl, Jane by Bare Naked Ladies, my favorite simping song, Should Have Been in Love by Wilco, the Background by Third Eye Blind. I could have chosen anything off the last half of their first album. Went with the background. Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Anytime by Brian McKnight. Here With Me by Dido. And, of course, the winner, the most devastating love song of the 90s and all time, I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raitt. There's no other song. That was the original idea for this video. Is that there's no other sad song that matters. This is it. All right, the 2000s, getting to my angsty teenage years with Without You by Silverchair, Tiny Vessels by Death Cab for Cutie. I could have gone with anything off Transatlanticism. Went with this one, it's the saddest story. Uh, Settle for a Slowdown by Dirk Bentley. Got some country in there. Some indie rock in here with Dress Me Like a Clown by Margo and the Nuclear So-and-Sos and Milk and Honey by As Tall as Lines. Margo and the Nuclear So-and-Sos are an indie rock band out of Indianapolis. Uh, and As Tall as Lines, you might not know, but you know their lead singer from his work with Olivia Rodrigo and Carly Rae Jepsen. Someone Great by LCD Sound System. I know it's about his therapist, but I'm throwing it in there. Community Cups and Someone's Coat by Iron and Wine, and my winner for the most devastating love song of the 2000s, Dreaming with a Broken Heart by John Mayer. Yeah. All right, 2010s. I've got Drowning by Banks, Lost on You by LP, Somebody Else by the 1975, The Breakup by Laney, Golden by Harry Styles, and my winner for the most depressing, devastating love song of the 2010s is a song called Without You by an electronic artist called Lapalux. Check out the video. It features the actress that plays Tonks from Harry Potter. And it's one of my favorite music videos of all time. And bonus, I'm going to pair it up with the song Boot Up by LMI. I do think this song has a tinge of sadness to it, and it's the same chords as Without You by Lapalux. So, of all you that know how to mix songs together, do that, and somebody do it and send it to me. I'd love to do that. Sometimes I just open two tabs and play them together. Love it. 
All right, we're getting into the 2020s, the lost decade. Uh, I really started liking a band called Ritual. They've got songs Josephine and Using. And I'm going to throw in also the recent cover of I Can't Make You Love Me by Charlie Puth. I think he did a great job. And my winner for the most devastating love song of the 2020s so far, the codependent anthem Graveyard by Halsey. I'm a huge Halsey fan. She puts her emotion into many of her songs, and uh, you really feel her pain. All right, that's it. And now you've got a list of like 30 plus songs. Put them into a Spotify playlist. Light a candle, get sad, and, uh, and realize you're going to be better one day. Time will pass. All right, we'll see you in the next one.